GAMSAT Practice Test 2, also known as the Purple Booklet. So questions 1 to 5. So we have a uh, passage about um, some of the hormones and influences and acid in the stomach. It talks about the enzyme pepsin, which, we, which digests uh, proteins. It's a protease in the stomach. And uh, somatostatin has some inhibitory action. And, uh, oh yes, you also notice <clears throat> that they do tell you about what the dotted arrows mean and, and the solid arrows. Uh, but that uh, symbol for, um, um, for the inhibition that somatostatin has on the chief cells and the parietal cells, uh, that symbol that goes like that, that's very common. Of course, sometimes you, you have uh, negative feedback being uh, with a negative sign or something of that nature, but uh, this is a common symbol as well, so it's nice to uh, be used to that. Okay, so uh, going to the questions. Question one, which of the following is the most uh, direct consequence of production of ATL? Okay. In the, from the parietal cells. So you see uh, the diagram uh, with the uh, parietal cells. And, um, um, and by the way, you know, one of the things that it says is that answer all the questions according to the model given. So that you, you have to answer the questions according to the model and not use your, you know, whatever knowledge you have about why is, you know, acid in the stomach. Of course, uh, one of the uh, reasons is uh, to help pepsinogen go to pepsin. But that is not even uh, dealt with here at all. So you, you have to just go according to what you see. And um, <clears throat> what you can see is that when the parietal cells make HCL and it starts accumulating in the stomach, we also see that HCL moves out of the stomach and HCL stimulates the D cells. The consequence of stimulating the D cells um, is that they release somatostatin and somatostatin has two effects that were shown. One is to uh, inhibit the chief cells, which would inhibit uh, pepsinogen. The other one is to inhibit the parietal cells, which means uh, to reduce the HCL. So among our answer choices, uh, it says increased production of HCL. No, we just saw it's the opposite. There will be a decrease in the um, production of HCL because somatostatin inhibits the parietal cells. Next, uh, <clears throat> increased production of histamine, not related uh, in the diagram. Decreased production of pepsinogen, we just said that because it inhibits uh, the chief cells, then uh, pepsinogen will be reduced. And then decreased production of somatostatin, we also just saw that actually it's the opposite. There's an increased amount of somatostatin. So looking at question number two, which of the following is affected most directly by negative feedback? Of course, I have to underline uh, most directly, just in case uh, there's two options that are close. But um, so which are most directly by negative feedback? Now, looking at the um, diagram, uh, you will notice that there's only two things affected by negative feedback. That's chief cells and parietal cells. <clears throat> so those are the only two that are affected. So uh, we just have to find which one is most, di uh, most directly affected. Well, you see that <clears throat> the chief cells produce pepsinogen and pepsin protein pepti peptides, but there is no direct feedback, um, negative feedback to the chief cells. In fact, even the peptides, which you see, and go down in the diagram and you'll see peptides stimulating the G cells. Well, that, those G cells release gastrin, which stimulate the chief cells. So there's no direct negative feedback loop coming from the chief cells. On the other hand, parietal cells make HCL and the HCL stimulates the D cells, which come back and have negative feedback on both parietal cells and chief cells. So the product of the parietal cells ends up being uh, responsible for inhibiting the secretion from the parietal cells. So that is uh, very uh, direct. And so the uh, correct answer would be B, because eventually B is blocked by its own product, <clears throat> uh, by the effect of its own product, certainly. So uh, question three, the vagus nerve, uh, which is not shown, um, stimulates the parietal cells what other effect could this nerve have that would lead to increased HCL production? So the question is really asking, what else has 
a stimulatory effect on the parietal cells or on HCL production. So that's what we're looking for. What can stimulate the parietal cells which would uh, create more HCL production? So looking at the diagram, looking at parietal cells, we've already discussed the negative feedback on it, and now we can see what has a stimulatory effect on parietal cells, and you can clearly see that the ECL cells will have a stimulated, stimulatory effect through histamine. So, and we also see that um, the G cells through gastrin can have a stimulatory effect. So if the nerve can stimulate uh, one of these, uh, the ECL cells or G cells, uh, then this would have a stimulatory effect on the parietal cells and create more HCL. So then um, looking at uh, the answer choices, um, sensitization of the parietal cells to somatostatin? No, that would be incorrect because somatostatin inhibits um, the parietal cells. D uh, redu uh, desensitization of the parietal cells to histamine? No, because we can see that histamine stimulates the parietal cells. We want to encourage that to encourage uh, HCL secretion. Um, sensitization of the ECL cells to gastrin? Yes, definitely, because um, if the ECL cells uh, can be stimulated by gastrin, then they will release histamine and stimulate the parietal cells in return, and, uh, and which will produce HCL. And all of that just based on uh, the information in the diagram. And the last one was desensitization of the ECL cells to gastrin. Well, actually, uh, that's the exact opposite of the, of the truth, because the correct answer would be C. But when you're doing multiple choice questions, of course, uh, especially if you um, if you are not sure what's going on, uh, you, you know, hopefully that's not going to happen to you. But if it happens to one of your friends, one of the things you can tell them is that uh, when they see two answer choices that are in exact opposition, of course, there's an increased chance that one of those two would be the correct answer. And so uh, this is the case here, and the answer is C. So uh, number four, uh, which of the following is the shortest route? So that should be underlined by which uh, the change in chief cell activity affects parietal cell activity. So um, chief cell affecting parietal cell. So we see uh, the chief cell right above uh, parietal cells in the diagram. And the product of the chief cells is uh, pepsinogen going to pepsin, resulting in proteins being digested into peptides. And then uh, we see way down at the bottom, <laughs> the consequence of this is that uh, the peptides can now cross over, stimulate G cells to produce uh, gastrin. And gastrin stimulates the parietal cells and chief cells. So um, looking back at the answer choices, uh, increased pepsinogen leads to increased peptides, it leads to increased gastrin. All that is correct, and so that would be the, the right answer. Looking at the other ones, uh, decreasing pepsinogen um, will decrease uh, peptides, and uh, decreased peptides relating to somatostatin, uh, yeah, that's, uh, there's no direct relationship there. The other one is decreased peptides uh, going, leading to a decrease in HCL. Again, there's no direct uh, relationship there. And uh, finally, chief cell activity does not affect parietal cell activity. We just showed how it does in answer choice A. So um, moving on to question five. Which of the following is affected most directly by positive feedback? Well, um, you know, one of the things uh, Acer does sometimes in the way they ask questions is sometimes they leave a little breadcrumb trail. So they lead you to, to look at some part of the, uh, of the diagram or passage or table, and uh, then they ask uh, another question along those lines. So here it is, uh, which one is most directly by, uh, affected by positive feedback? Well, we just did that, which is the chief cells, because we can see that through the chief cells going through pepsin, pepsin, pep, uh, the peptides, and then G cells, gastrin, and then back up to the chief cells, you can see that this is, this is, um, this is positive feedback. Uh, the more it does something is the more it is stimulated to continue to do something. It's not like a classic uh, negative feedback loop, uh, which we have already looked at with the parietal cells 
secreting HCL, and then increased HCL leads to D cell stimulation, somatostatin, and negative feedback back to the parietal cells. So here the chief cells are doing it differently, and, uh, and so definitely the answer is A, and uh, parietal cells do the opposite, and, um, and D cells, uh, we, don't, uh, we don't see a complete loop um, for them.